the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. And the first one the Buddha recommends is goodwill. When he was giving instructions to his son on how to meditate, even before he talked about breath meditation, he talked about meditating in goodwill. Because we're trying to establish our motivation here. And we keep reminding ourselves of our motivation, that we want a happiness. That's true. And that's not a selfish idea. Because true happiness has to come from within. It doesn't take anything away from anyone else. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to be happy. But you want to do it in a skillful way, in a way that doesn't harm anybody else. One of the main reasons is that if your happiness harms somebody else, it's not going to last. They're going to do what they can to destroy it. So you have to take other people's well-being into consideration. And at the same time, it's a simple principle of fairness. You want happiness, they want happiness too. And if we just keep fighting, fighting, fighting over my territory, my things, my whatever, Nobody's going to find any happiness. The Buddha's image is of fish in a stream that's running out of water, and they're fighting one another over that last little bit of water. And one fish may be able to push another fish out of the way, but then it's going to die anyhow. And then we're saddled with the karma of having pushed one another out of the way. So this is one of the reasons why we look inside. This is our real source of happiness, this is our real source of well-being. As we do this, we have goodwill for ourselves, goodwill for other people. Any way we can help them in their search for true happiness, we're happy to do it. When you have that attitude, you create a spacious attitude in the mind. And then when you focus on the breath, that's what you're going to be able to see. As John Lee said, the breath is a mirror for the mind. And if you bring the right attitude to the breath, it will reflect good things back to you. The breath will be calm, it'll be soothing. It'll be a lot easier to work with. So always start with goodwill. Make that the attitude you bring. Otherwise you come to the breath and you're in a hurry to get results. And it's like you fall into a house of mirrors. The breath reflects a bad mood back to you, and then you're getting an even worse bad mood because of the breath not cooperating. It goes back and forth like this, and the, the monster in the mirrors gets bigger and bigger. So try to bring the right attitude to the breath, bring the right attitude to the mirror, and you'll like what you see.